are you up here? You were up here before the whole thing. Why'd you go down to Florida of all places? Because her parents both got sick. They were both really? on ventilators. Yeah. And, wow. Uh, yeah, her mom was on for nine days. Her dad was on for 20 days. And, wow. uh I mean, dude, you can't imagine how fucking stressful it was and, and just how yeah. touch and go it was. So we're it, it, for unlucky as possible that they both went on, but then it's a miracle that we got them back. But uh, wow, and it was yeah, the COVID. So, like it was officially it was oh, COVID. absolutely yeah yeah oh yeah. wow. Um, but we we fucking like when we got noticed that her mom was getting released from the hospital, we we just we we were afraid because back back then it's funny the shit has turned around now. Now New York is pulling over Florida people, but Florida was pulling over New York people. And, really? Uh, yeah, and I was afraid to go down with with Jersey plates, so I, uh, I I rented a car. I called up Enterprise. I was like, "Yeah, I need a big vehicle with Florida tags and no questions asked." They're like, "We got that." Uh, and right. so, so Enterprise, you know what's is weird? Not enterprise questions. would have done that a year ago, even before COVID. That's their policy. <laughs> yeah. it's like so, no questions asked. Yeah. So, so check this out. The reason we got it was because they said that there was uh, that they had checkpoints, right? And right. we we get up to the the border, and all of a sudden there's a sign that said, it was like half a mile checkpoint. And my girl's looking around for her mask. She can't find it. So we're having this. It, we had a 15 second long fight. And we're like, it's your fucking fault. I can't find it. Like, fucking shut the fuck up. I've got my mask, and she pulls over, cracks the window this much. And I'm expecting it to be cops. It was just two dudes that looked like they worked at Home Depot. And the guy comes over. His mask is down to his tits. I'm like, yo, mask up, bro. He goes, sir, the virus is everywhere. We all have it already. Boy. That's the person that is trained doing, by doing the state the quality of Florida. Control. Who was this? And so what, what if you... Uh, why have the checkpoint? I don't even understand why so, I have the fucking checkpoint. Yeah, exactly. So so he's like, where are you coming from? And my girl, she's like the worst liar in the world. She goes, we have Florida tags. He goes, where are you coming from? We have oh, Florida tags. So I was like, I had the mask on. I was like, just fucking see Georgia. She's like, Georgia? He goes, all right, have a good day. That was it. And like literally every person on that road at that spot is coming from Georgia. Like it's impossible to come from anywhere else. <laughs> right, 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 right. Yeah. Now, is it if if you had said you were from New York or something, they would have turned you around? They would have taken down your license plate, and they were supposedly doing spot check ins, like surprise check ins that they would they could send law enforcement around to see. But dude, her, this is how unlucky they were. Her parents were the first case of COVID in West Palm Beach. They were the first ones in, in ICU. Like really? they obviously got it from somebody else, but they were like they, they the had first very one light that symptoms. needed to be yeah. ventilated. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. But her mom, uh her last words before she went on the on the ventilator was astounding. It was this super emotional, like, you know, they're on FaceTime and she was breathing forty times a minute, right? So it's like it's <sighs> She's, she, like, they call it happy hypoxia. That's that's the weird yeah. thing with this disease is that people feel fine even though they're crashing. It's like having altitude sickness. Yeah, right? yeah. Like you, that's you what they were saying. Good. I saw a couple of videos about that where they were saying that it just it, it looks like altitude it's altitude sickness, and that's why they were saying that they were they might not have been treating it right with the ventilators. That the ventilators yeah. were doing more more damage than than good. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that, that's a, a separate thing. But uh, so her mom, it's like, you know, she's on FaceTime with her. She's like, Mom, just it's everything's going to be fine. Just go on the ventilator. It's going to breathe on, for you for a few days. We're going to be there when you get off. We love you. We love you. And her mom, she's like, she's high as shit from, from the hypoxia. Her The last thing she said before she went on the ventilator was, don't forget to buy cheap coffins. <laughs> <laughs> Is that? Oh Jesus! Wow. That is the, the greatest uh, Jewish my, mom mic drop in history. Wow. <laughs> my wow. God! Don't let him, don't let him <laughs> finagle you into <laughs> buying anything with gold no, or copper. Yeah, no walnut don't, for me, baby. Yeah, don't let him take your shekels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, wow. and they don't now, remember. How did, you, any how did of your girl it. handle that? Um, I mean, so she's. You know, she's a veterinarian, so, like, she basically assembled a team of professionals. Like, you know, she had a panel of experts that were—she was a step ahead of this thing at, like, every single 
you know, turning point. And like, she was, she was making, she had people making suggestions and shit. And, uh, yeah, I mean, a big part of it is like getting them off the ventilator. It's like really hard. So it was kind of, she was kind of in the category that she knows too much, you know, uh-huh. but, uh, I mean, germane to this podcast is that, uh, when I tell you two parents on a ventilator is not an aphrodisiac, right. buddy, buddy, right. It yeah. was not a horny time in this yeah. household. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> uh, yeah, so no she hook about, up, dude. No hook it up. Was, like, we went separate bedrooms for a minute because she had fucking. She had this like, she has this uh, this stress response that we didn't know about. That about once every two minutes, she just goes. Bleh. So for like. A month and a half, she was on the verge well, of vomiting. That's constantly. attractive. That's attractive, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, if she's blowing you, that's great, though. It's like, she's like, oh yeah, wow, I'm that's it. Just... Talk to it. <laughs> Talk to it. <laughs> really, when yeah, you think so... about it, anything a woman does when she's blowing you is unattractive. When she's not blowing you, the except, face, the sounds, except humming. <laughs> Oh, well, humming. actually, humming's not bad. Humming's not bad. Humming's, but humming's pretty good. Yeah. Talking on the phone is not good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or if a girl a girl's just like you're just hanging out and her makeup's just running down her face for some reason. Yeah, <laughs> again. What's wrong with you? <laughs> only appropriate if she's blowing you. <laughs> yeah. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Better man.